I think it's hard to grow up hearing stories from a very close person about the life that he didn't have. I'm Aya and I'm Palestinian living in Israel and I grew up hearing my grandfather's life story. I heard him telling how he was forced to leave his home, his village, and for a while his whole country. He lived in a village named Serene with his father. They were kicked out with all the people who lived in the village. Some of them f left for other countries like Lebanon, Syria, or Jordan. My grandfather and my great-grandfather went to Jordan, but later came back to Palestine because they didn't want to leave their land. They couldn't return home because it was destroyed. The whole village was destroyed. So he went to Daburia, a village where its people stayed and didn't leave. He stayed there until this day. His father formed a family and he did the same. Knowing that my grandfather went through these strong and hard events, makes me worry about my life, my home, and my family. I'm living in a fear that this might happen to me too, that I might be forced to leave my home, as, as my grandfather did. I love spending time with him on the weekends and hearing stories about that beautiful village and the well that they got water from. I think the hardest and wonderful day I ever had is that trip when we went to the place where the village was. We saw parts of the houses coming out of the ground, but not the houses themselves, because all the houses were destroyed. That day, he showed us where his house was. We saw a pile of stones, but next to them, there was a tree, a big one, and he stood there and looked at, and looked at it. Then he said that this tree was small when he lived there, and now it was very big. He showed us where the streets were, and we stayed there for hours looking at the life that once was. I remember imagining the shape of the village and how it would look like. But destiny we can't change. Maybe this was meant to be so I, I would have the life I have now. Being a Palestinian who is living in Israel, or an Israeli Arab, or any other name that they call us is very hard. Not knowing who or what you are is the most difficult thing. Living in a country without feeling that you belong is difficult too, and it brings a lot of anger. I'm angry because I don't have my own country that represents me, where I can feel comfortable and have a real life. My life is so complicated. I live in Israel, but I'm Palestinian in my heart. I'm treated differently in Israel because I'm a Muslim Arab girl. That's why I can't have an ordinary teenage life. I don't know what to think, and when I hear things, I don't know what is right and what is wrong. I can't know if the things I hear are true. I wish that people would pay attention to the Israeli Arab population, because I don't feel that people know a lot about us and our history.